Hi, how's it going everyone? It's Golden and welcome finally back to Geometry Dash. Now, today, as you can see, we are starting my progression on the level that I promised to beat about probably a month ago now. But yeah, it's Windy Landscape by Woogie and yeah, we're going to first do a practice run of the level and then I'm going to jump in and see how well I do essentially. So anyways... I really don't really have anything else to say. I'll start talking when we get into it. So let's just get into it. And of course, practice. Now, the beginning of this level is kind of easy. Once you learn how to do it, this ball part is probably the hardest part of the beginning. This ship part, think about this. Okay, now what you do at this ship part is you can't go up too high. What you have to do in this ship part is you have to kind of glide close to the bottom spikes and fall into the key portal. Otherwise, you won't make it. Like, I'll try to do that. Like, if I can get it. See, you don't go up too high. You kind of like like that. This UFO, it's very simple. It's obvious what to do. It's just simple timings. Ouch. Oh, no, no. Yeah, see? And then, then you're a reverse wave coming out of there, so don't press the button. Now, this wave is nice and open. This part... Okay. This part, I have the most trouble with. Especially because this is where... The hardest part in the level is. It's at 30%. So, this ship part coming up, the only real advice I can give is it's just RNG for me. I, I really am not good at it. So, when you come up here, you'll notice that there are three jump orbs coming up here. You press the middle one. It's like, look, you, I'll show you. So, like, look, you come up here, you press that a little bit late, press the middle one like that, and then this ship part is the hardest part of the level by far. It's just... Mm. Okay, there we go. This wave is also like... There we go. Oh, see? Alright, there we go. Alright, now this dual part is not as hard as some people make it out to be. Some people think that the drop is the hardest part of the level. I personally think that the first 45% of the level is the hardest part, and here's why. This dual part is actually very simple. So once you go into it like this, you press those yellow... Okay, so you press these yellow orbs late, like this. Like that. And then once you get to this ball part, you press it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times in succession about the same rate you tap the first time. So once you tap the first time, learn how late you press it when you enter the ball, and then press that at that exact timing consistently five times. So like one, all right, so like look. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And then wait right in this. Okay, now that part. Whenever you go into the big dual ball, you wait until you're like right up against the spike, and then you press the button. There's two sets of mini spikes. You wait until you're right up against it, you press the button, and then when you're the cube and you jump on those like two slopes, as you can see right there, you wait until you get to the very end of it, and then you tap the button as this. This ball part is kind of simple. Go up, wait a little bit, tap it on those slopes. Now this part, for me, is the easiest. Now you tap the yellow orbs like that, and just hold down the button like that, glide through there, press that yellow orb kind of late, and then, yeah, oh, and then don't die to that. <laughs> so you press that, press that, press that. Okay, press that, and when you, once you come out of there, press the orb in that ship portal late so you don't, like, bump into the spike ahead of time. So then glide along the bottom of here. Just glide through here. One, two, three jumps. And then you press that. Now, you hit when you press that yellow orb, you hit your head up here, and then you have to fall like, in between these two spikes. This is another really hard part of the level, so like fall in between. Watch out for that spike right there. Tap it. Now this is the... This... Oh, oops. Press those yellow orbs right away. Now, this is kind of a tight space. What I like to do is I like to wait until I'm off the color block and I'm on the dotted one, like the very first time around, like like that, see? And then you press that late, press that yellow orb late, or else that'll happen. Come through here, press that yellow orb late. This is, the, and the nerves are going to be going, so this is probably the hardest timing of the level. You've got to press that yellow orb super late, like at this shit part, and then you're at the end of the level. But then you got to jump over that. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, 37 attempts. That's my lowest yet in practice, which isn't bad, actually. This level, though, like, the ship part at 30 is total RNG. I'm so going to die there a lot. I think I've died a total of at least 2,000 times there. So, 
2,000 of my total attempts on this so far are from that shit part. But anyways, I'll tell you a story about this level. I have some history with this level. So, this was this was just when there were good players coming out in the game is when this level came out. You had players like Smokes, Alex Payne, Zobros. You had all those like superstar GD players back in the day. And I consider myself one of them, but I didn't have any YouTube or social back then, so I wasn't known. So, back when this level came out, I beat it, and I was already beating levels like Supersonic, and I believe at the time Supersonic was the hardest, until like we had stuff like Bloodbath and Sonic Wave come out, and then I started my grind on those. But, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong if you know down below. Ouch. Yeah, see, I'm, again, there's no real practice with that 30% ship. That's the hardest part of the level for me personally. But, like, ever since I lost my first main account, like, my first one from, like, seven years when I first started... I always made it my mission to rebeat this level, and I haven't played it in five years, which is a long time, so I'm so rusty as, at it, as you can see. Ugh, I just gotta get back into the rhythm, and hope I get lucky on that ship. Yeah, see, fall into- ah, oh, the triple spike as well. You gotta wait until you look right up against it, because you're- Ugh. Like that. In the simple UFO. Oh my man. Apparently it's not that simple. My goal for this video would be a new percentage. It's always my goal when I'm doing a progression. Um at, I don't even care if it's I don't even care if it's one percent more. I just want to get a new percentage for this video. If I could, that would be amazing. Yeah, see, the ship part is so hard for me because I don't, there's like no real input you can do there. It's just complete RNG. There's no like extra jump orb you can, t like, I feel like if there was a pink jump orb in each one of those portals, like the gravity flip portals, that, that, that part would be a lot easier. You could just tap the orb and go right through that space on each one, but there's not. It's more about holding at the right time and straightening yourself out with one tap at the right time. There's a lot of input on that part. That's the most complex and hardest part of Windy Landscape. Huh. You see, oh, I almost had it that time too. The, um, okay, so you can see up there, the yellow gravity portal is not the hardest part of the level. It's the blue one. It's the middle part of the ship that always kills me. It's the blue gravity flip portal because it's the hardest input in the ship because it's, because it's so close to the top first spike that you want to hold down and make sure you straighten yourself out and you all the time run into that first spike. But if you hesitate, you feel like you're going to go into the side of the wall and die. Which is, it's what makes that part so hard. Yeah, you see, like, if I wait, I go into the bottom spike, and if I hold for too long, I go into the top one. That's why the blue gravity portal is the hardest part of the ship for me, and that part is, personally for me, the hardest part of the level. It's just, for me, it's just complete RNG whether you do it or not. It's either you're going to do it or you're not.
oh, sometimes that happens too. See, I got the input right, but the problem is, is holding down and then straightening yourself out with the one tap input, then pressing the orb and then repeating, but without pressing the orb on the yellow one. Oh, it's like, it's the hesitation that gets me every time on that part. I'll get it down. At least I'm, oh gosh. Well, at least I'm consistent and I can get to it fairly often. Like, 99% of my attempts, I get to that shit part every time. Which means I'm going to get a lot of chances at it, which is kind of good. Oh! Mm, I hate when that happens. My problem when that happens is that I hold for too long, and I think I made it through, and I'm going into, like, the dark alleyway part, essentially. So I let go, and I go into the last spike. Oh, I hate when that happens so much. Oh man, it's just, it's, it's so tough, man. If that 30% shit part was not in Windy Landscape, I might have beaten it already. That will, for, oh man, that will forever be the hardest part for me. I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing my eye, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't play with one eye, I apologize. Oh god, as soon as I said that, I got severe heavy eye all of a sudden. Oh no. That's gonna break my focus, I know it. Oh man, it's, mm, it's every time I get through the blue gravity portal successfully, my nerves go and I just can't do it. See, holding down and not doing the input is my main problem with that part on both segments with each portal. See, man, oh my gosh, I just realized, I was 6% away from the drop when I died at 39, oh no, I could have fluked the hell out of this level. Then again, I could have died at like the 60 ship duel too, that's the other hardest part. Oh yeah, you gotta press that late. Oh, man. All right, I'll give it one more good shot. I'll give it one more good attempt. Hopefully, I pass the ship. If I do, I'll be happy. I just want to pass the ship part at least, at least once in this video. Please. All right. Wait, what? Oh, wait.
Oh man, I didn't press the yellow orb. That sucks. Ah. Uh, but anyways, I think that's gonna do it for today. I was kind of hoping to get at least 40%, but I didn't. But hey, I'm not complaining. All I need to do is practice that ship part, and I'll try to work on. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll try to work on that off camera as best I can. But until the next progression, I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.